How's it going everyone, this is Tom and today I'm extremely, extremely excited to bring you an unboxing and first look at the just released, and by just released I mean like an hour and a half ago, or by the time I'm recording this video, iPad Air, the Apple iPad Air is finally out uh, and here it is on my desk. So I see no reason not to get started, let's just crack this open. Uh, what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to cut this shrink wrap uh, that obviously goes around all Apple boxes. Um, just like this, I've got my handy dandy unboxing knife with me. Uh, peel this back, there's something strangely satisfying about uh, this experience. I don't know what it is, but as you can see we do have the uh, shrink wrap off, so the next thing to do is just pull up the box. As you can see, uh, it just comes off right, nice and simple. Uh, this is an unboxing as opposed to a kind of an unpackaging like the iPhone 5C was not too long ago. But as you can see, there we are presented with the new iPad Air. I'm just going to go ahead and place this to the side just for a second. You can see how thin this is, uh, and we'll come to that and take a look at the product itself uh, in just a little while. Uh, but let's just delve deeper into the packaging. Here you get some documentation. Opening this up, you're presented with some iPad documentation, some Apple stickers, and just some boring legal information. We'll skip past that. Next, you're presented with the lightning port, the lightning to USB connector for charging and syncing, and also a power brick, which for everyone in America, this is what a UK plug looks like. Uh, I got lots of comments on my iPhone 5C and 5S unboxing about the weird power adapter. This is it. So as you can see, the box is now empty and let's move on to the iPad itself. So once again, you're presented with a very, very slim profile. What we're going to just do is uh, remove this protective plastic packaging that it comes in or the kind of cover. Uh, peeling that back. Again, strangely satisfying. I don't really know why. Uh, but as you can see, there we have the iPad in all of its glory uh, with, it's actually uh, the slate grey colour here I have here. Uh, it looks really nice actually, I'm a big fan of the colouring. But as you can see, if we just move down, uh, here the iPad mini's thinness really comes into effect. Uh, they did an advert with a pencil, so I thought I'd compare it to a pen I just had lying on my desk. It's actually thinner than this stylus pen, uh, which is very, very impressive. It's super thin, super lightweight, just weighs over just a pound, I think. And then here we have my iPhone 5, uh, my red iPhone 5 next to the iPad mini. And uh, they're very, very similar in uh, depth. I, I doubt you'll be able to find a difference. Uh, but it, again, it just shows how thin the iPad Air actually is. Okay, so let's just go ahead and first boot it. Uh, it boots up in 18 seconds, uh, but of course this is booting to the startup screen, not the actual springboard, uh, so it's not a totally scientific test. I'll be doing a full speed test on the iPad Air, so definitely subscribe if you don't want to miss that. And in just any second, we will see the uh, kind of welcome screen for iPad pop up. I'm not going to bore you with the full setup process, I'll just fast forward to when we can actually access the springboard here. And here we have it, there's a last few steps of the setup process that I'm just going to go through. Uh, don't send diagnostics, for example, and then we tap next, and then we're good to go. We get well, the welcome to iPad, and the springboard loads up. There we have it guys, that's my unboxing and first look at the new iPad Air. I'm very curious to know whether you'll be picking this up, whether you're upgrading from an older generation iPad, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you want to see all of my iPad Air content, also iPad mini content in a few weeks, and I will catch you next time.